Andy here. So, obviously, we're talking about Streamerbot a lot on the channel at the minute. So, if Streamerbot's your thing, make sure you are subscribed. And obviously, like this video because it's definitely going to help you. But you've clicked on it because Twitch are obviously getting rid of all the VODs and stuff, right? Oh, my God, it's a big VOD apocalypse. VOD apocalypse, something like that. You know, you know how it is. But don't worry about it because in the new Streamerbot Alpha, there is a new feature. And this feature is insane. So underneath the platform section on the left, you can go to Twitch and you can go to videos. This is a new thing. This is in Alpha 5 at the moment. And you'll uh, once you click on it, you'll see a list of all of your videos. If you don't, you just need to make sure you press Broadcaster up here at the top. Or you can search for a viewer, uh, a user, and you press search. And it'll search for all the VODs that are currently on your channel, whether or not they're highlights and also archives. So your previous VOD history, which is usually about 60 days. Uh, and what you can do is open the video in your web browser if you want to. Uh, that will fire it open and then you can see the VOD whiles you are live or whatever as you can see just here You can see that VOD just there oh, that and I'm currently live, so which is fun. That's today uh, But you can also grab multiple links at once so you could copy all of the video URLs or you can save them to a CSV um, And it's completely up to you and if you didn't want them all you can actually filter out the uh, archives themselves so you get all the archives there you can also individually select different videos, as you can see there. And when you right-click, you can copy all the video URLs to Clipboard. Um, or the selected videos, sorry. And what you can do, like Bongo says, make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, what you can do then, once you've got all that info, use something like the Twitch downloader, which I'll leave this link uh, below. This is on GitHub. Uh, from Lay295, and um, what this will allow you to do is actually download Twitch VODs, clips, uh, VODs and clips, and it'll also have chat as well. So you can queue up multiple download and render jobs at the same time, uh, create a list of download jobs, so you grab the full list that you got from, from Streamerbot, go paste it in here, and just leave it running, and it'll do everything for you, backing everything up. Uh, it's super straightforward to do. So uh, if that's something that you're a bit worried about losing any of your VODs, then definitely Streamerbot is for you because it's just built into it. And like I say, the really cool thing about this is that you can search for a different user. So if I type in my good friend Bongo1986 just here, um, is it Bongo1986 fan? I, th I think that's the, the one. But you can basically cl <laughs> click on their channel uh, press search and you can also download their VODs as well. So your moderators could do it for you as well, which is cool, right? Because that's what you're paying them for. Um, just like you could pay me right now and support me by pressing that subscribe button. Or you can use my links down below if you want to get some cool goodies for your stream. and Go join my Kofi or Patreon and all that jazz. Uh, I'll see you in the next one, all right? Like the video, put your rock for the stone. Much love.